Okay, in this little video, I'm going to give a little example of so uh, if you don't remember where that is, you can look in your book on page 141 and uh, see the formulas. So let's say we have people arriving uh, at a rate of 100 per hour, and then our service rate, mu, is 120 per hour. First thing we always figure out is what percentage of the time are we busy? What is our utilization rate? So that is known as the Greek letter rho, R-H-O, if you wondered. So that is the arrival rate divided by the utilization rate. So 100 divided by 120. So that is 0.8333333. And you can look at that um, two different ways. Um, one is that that is the percentage of time that the processor, the server, percentage of time that that person is busy. And it's also the average number of people that are at the server. So if you're busy 83% of the time, that means on average, you have 0.83 people standing there, which is maybe a little bit of an odd thing to think about, but it's useful to know on average how many people are there. Okay, so if you look at the PowerPoint slide here, one thing we want to know is the number of people in the queue. So uh, LQ. So LQ is equal to the arrival rate lambda squared divided by mu times mu minus lambda. So in the case of this example here, we have 100 squared divided by 120 times 120 minus 100. So 100 squared, that is 10,000. And on the bottom, we have 120 times 20. So that again is 10,000 divided by 120 times 2 is 2, 4, 0, 0. So let's get out our calculator and let's see what that is. So we have 10,000 divided by 2400 is 4.17. 4.1, 4.16666, I'm rounding to 4.17. So that's LQ, remember? LQ is the number of people in the queue. Not in the system, but just in the queue. So if we want to know the number of people in the system, look at this formula here. It's LS plus LQ plus rho. So we have LQ plus rho. So that is 4.17 plus rho. So that is 4.17 plus 0.83 is 5.0. So just to sort of highlight these numbers here, um, rho, that's an important number. That's the utilization rate. That, 4.17, that is our LQ. And then LS is 5.0. So our server is busy 83% of the time. On average, there are 0.83 people being served. We have 4.17 people in the line. So total, we have five people in the system. Or the way I drew it in class, if, if these dots represent people, um, so these are the people in line, and then this is the person being waited on. On average, we have 0 0.83, 0 0.83 people right there. And then in the line part here, we have 4.17. 
So then, let me see. I'm out of colors. Um, if you look at the whole system overall, uh, I didn't change colors like I thought I was going to. Oh well. Overall, we have a total of five people in the system. All right, let me get my mine here. Brush back to uh, black ink. Okay, so that is a number of people in the system. The other thing that we would like to know is um, how many people are in the system. All right, so the number of people in the queue, that's not what I want. WQ is equal to LQ divided by lambda. LQ divided by lambda. So LQ, that is 4.17. We will divide that by lambda, our arrival rate. So 4.17 divided by 100, we get 0 0.0417. Now, the thing we have to remember is 4.17 is what? That's people. Lambda is the arrival rate, and that is people per hour. So this is 0.417 hours. And again, I have no concept of how long 0.417 hours is. So I need to do a little math. So point. 0.0417, I'm leaving this point, 0.0416, just for the purposes of doing my math. So that's why I come out with exactly 2.5 minutes. If you rounded the 4.17 to just 4.17, you'll come up with something, not exactly 2.5, but that's okay. So that's, that is how long people spend in the queue. The other thing we want to know is how long do people spend in the system? So WS, that's WQ plus 1 over mu. So this is WQ plus 1 divided by mu. Now, the thing to watch out for here is when we use this WQ, do we want to use this in minutes or in hours? Well, when we add these two things together, they both have to be in the same units. Whether that's minutes or hours, either way is fine, but we need to keep it straight. So I am going to use WQ in terms of hours here. I'll do it in again in a second in, in, in uh, using minutes, but for now in hours. So I have 0 0.417 is how many hours they spent in the queue, and then the time they spend being processed, and that is 1 divided by mu, where mu is 120 per hour. So we have 0, 0.0 417 plus, uh, in case you don't know what 1 divided by 120 is off the top of your head, which is 0 0.0083333333. 0 0.0083333. 0 .0 so add that to 0 0.0417 and we get 0. 0, 0.05 and again remember this is hours because the time in the queue was in hours and then this time of processing was 120 per hour so if you take 0. 0.05 hours and multiply by 60 minutes per hour you get what? you get three minutes Now, you might think, well, why do we figure this out in minutes and then you're doing it in hours down here? Um, well, the short answer is it seemed easier to explain. Um, another way I could look at this was to say, okay, well, if you want to use that in minutes, okay, fine, up there, that was 2.5 minutes waiting in the queue, but then the processing time, uh, you know, what do I, what do, I do? So up here, this 120, that is per hour. If you want to know per minute, you have to divide that by 60. So that is 2 per minute. If I, so I have it in minutes now. So now I have the processing speed in minutes. 
So 1 divided by 2 minutes, and then clearly you can see 2 and a half plus a half gives me 3 minutes. So I get the same answer either way. I just like doing it the first way because it seems, that just to me it seems less confusing to all of a sudden say, oh, but what's this in, what's this in terms of minutes? So we have figured out um, a couple of things here. We have figured that the average customer spends three minutes in our system and the average customer spends two and a half minutes in the queue. So let's see, let's just write that is the total system time. 